Hello my lovelies, uh, today is the 12th of March. It's a little bit chilly outside, about 7 degrees, but there is sunshine and uh, I decided to grab the camera and go out to film. I have an idea to make some videos about the neighborhoods of Sofia and today I'm going to make a trip to the neighborhood where I grew up. It's um, an older neighborhood so it's a little bit gray and a lot of buildings have this socialist vibe. I hope this will be interesting for you and if not I'll catch you in the next video. moment the market is closed which is really weird I used to come and do my grocery shopping over here I've started my walk from the Krasna Polyana's open market but I was surprised to find out that the huge market is no longer there yeah, I spoke to this lady and she told me that it's been like this for years actually the market is not how it used to be I don't know what the reason is but there is another market a few stops away from here I have just arrived to the housing estate Ilinden and I'm currently walking on the Alexander Stambulinsky Boulevard the building across from here is where I grew up and lived for 30 years apart from the time I was abroad. I used to live at the apartment on the first floor and as you can see the facade of the residential building is covered in different patches that make it look hideous and gloomy. The area in front of the building is also different to what I remember. There used to be several benches and a small playground. Today is Sunday and I don't see much movement around this building. Anyway, let's continue exploring at the back. What shocked me the most is the fact that the area behind the building was really dirty and as it seems, the people from the upper floors have been throwing their trash from their balconies. Closed shades are where my room was. I have some uh, really funny memories. My mom used to always tell me, listen, when I come back from work, I want to see all your toys in place. So one time she came home and the toys were scattered around the room. So she put them in a blanket and she threw them away over here. Um, there, was a, there was a tree over there, so she threw them under the tree and I had to come and collect them. <laughs> so, um, it may look really gray, the building, I mean the building, the area, there is a big difference between the district where I currently live and between this district. But behind those gray walls, I was actually happy. You see here, here, it's really, really, really not nice. wagon restaurant I think it was a little bit further down it doesn't exist anymore but I thought that 
they should have kept it they should have fixed it renovated it and kept it because it was a very interesting like attraction and uh, even now when you tell the taxi drivers please uh, please take me to where the wagon restaurant was they know exactly where to take you this is what my former residential building looks like from a distance it's a large building and it's surrounded by apartment blocks sharing the same depressing socialist vibes during the communism the goal was to build as many apartments as possible within the shortest period and this resulted in buildings being designed to be simple, practical, cheap and easy to construct. Once upon a time, the spot of this supermarket was a huge green field where the kids used to play and occasionally this would be a place where a visiting circus or an amusement park would settle. The building on the left is where I used to go to the kindergarten and further down was the Swan Lake, a park with a lake where you could ride a paddle boat. Sadly, I discovered that the lake is empty and there is only a small playground. I'm back in front of the residential area where I used to live because I want to have a last glimpse before I continue exploring other parts from this neighborhood. I feel so tempted to go in, to ring on the door and to say, excuse me, can you let me in just for a minute? <laughs> of course I can't do that, but... Okay, this is a last glimpse and I'm heading towards the metro station I want to show you the Arena Cinema Center and the, the church and the small garden where we used to go with my mom when I, when I was a kid. It will be a shock if it doesn't work anymore. That would be a shock. From what I understood, the owner of the building didn't pay his mortgage. That's why the Arena Cinema Center is closed. But I'm grateful to you guys for giving me a reason to come to this district. I never really go in this direction. And it's quite nice to remember where I came from and to remind myself of these sweet memories with my mom, with my dad, when we lived in this district. What I felt during this visit proves that I took the right decision to sell the apartment. It was not easy because I was attached to the neighborhood and to my friends with whom I grew up. However, life is not static, nothing lasts forever, the area has changed, my friends have left and this was the right moment to close this chapter and move on. The Holy Trinity Church dates back to 1927. I will try to film inside, but I'm not sure because in some churches it's forbidden. <laughs> 